Hi, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fishing. Today, fortunately, I have to talk about Kalmanaris again. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. Unfortunately, today we have to be talking about Kalmanaris. Now, I don't have Kalmanaris in my fish room right now, but I have seen many posts on social media um, about it and I've seen lots of misinformation and uh, my good friend Philip Hamby who happens to be a mod in a couple of guppy groups um, has been working on this method of cure for quite a while now you may remember I did a video I'll put a link up here uh, Norm from Cookies Fish Room has another method that he's used and that method is still valid no matter how I feel about Norm and that that group that does work his method still works uh, unfortunately, triple sulfur is nearly impossible to buy here in the United States, and it's got awfully expensive. I don't know in the rest of the world if you can get it, but here in the U.S., you certainly can't get it. I'm pretty sure in Canada, you can't get it either. Um, and I don't think you can get it in England. I think people have asked me from England to get it for them if I could, but I can't. Can't get it here. And so uh, Phil has been working on this method for some time. Uh, he gave this method to me about three months ago, and I've been testing it on some common R's cases I had on the fish room when I eradicated it in my fish room uh, I had no way of testing it but it worked for me when I had it so I just want to tell you about it not only is this method cheaper than the triple sulfur method but you probably have at least half of what you need in in your house right now to treat it so first of all what is common aris besides the devil it's a gram-negative bacteria that is generally found in most untreated aquariums and bodies of freshwater lakes and ponds and streams and Cricks or creeks, whatever you call them. The bacteria is aerobic and does require oxygen to live. Now, once properly treated, the bacteria will never return to the tank unless the tank gets contaminated again by um, airlines or decoration or obviously sick fish. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, common artist has been around in the hybrid for quite some time. We just called it different things in the past. Most people recognize it as saddleback disease because of how it shows up in the fish uh, behind the dorsal fin, it kind of looks like a saddle. Um, sorry, in front of the dorsal fin, kind of looks like a saddle. Also, cotton mouth, cotton wool, mouth fungus are some of the other things it's been called over the years. It can look like a fungus of the mouth as it'll have a cotton-like appearance in the fish's mouth. However, when it's seen on the body during infection, uh, it, it shows up as a white or dull gray patch. Uh, the infecting areas can range in size and location, but generally they're located behind or in front of the dorsal fin and around the gills. Now, common aris, the bacteria itself, is triggered by stress or poor water quality for the most part. Um, it will attack uh, the fish starting obviously in the gills. They'll start to turn brown or dark red. Um, and then you might start to see the, the white patches. Once you start to see those white patches, 24 to 48 hours, maybe 72 hours, and that fish is probably going to die if it's left untreated. So I know you guys are thinking, well, well, Mike, how do I treat it? How do I treat it? Pretty simple. First thing you want to do is lower your water temperature. Uh, I recommend 70 to 72, but if you can get down to 70 or 72, that, that's pretty much where you want to go. Lower the better if possible. Then you're going to want to treat with this bad boy right here kosher salt. Well, you can actually use aquarium salt or any salt that's safe for your aquarium. I like kosher salt because it's readily available. I have it in the house. Uh, it's cheap. I think I got this on sale for $1.69 or $1.99 at ShopRite last week. Uh, I stocked this in my toolkit for the fish room because I use it on my imports. I use it to treat common arse if I have it. And if I need to raise TDS, this is what I use to do it. Kosher salt, aquarium salt, any salt that's safe for your, your uh, aquarium. Now the dosage is two and a half tablespoons per gallon. So a 20 gallon tank will be 50 tablespoons. Now 50 tablespoons is a lot of tablespoons to be measuring. So you may want to use another measurement like, you know, hey Siri, See, Alexa doesn't answer when I say, hey, Siri. Alexa, 
How many cups is 50 tablespoons? 50 tablespoons is about 3.1 cups. So a little bit more than three cups of salt per 20 gallons, right? That's, that's a lot of salt. It may harm your plants, um, but that salt won't harm any other fish as far as I know. It hasn't in my situation. Uh, even plecos have seemed to be okay with the, that amount of salt. I, I'm gonna recommend caution if you have plecos uh, or plants in your tank. The other thing you're gonna wanna use is methylene blue. Now methylene blue is available from Keith at KGE Aquatics. Uh, it's also available on Amazon and many, many fish stores carry it because it's quite common in the hobby. It's used, people artificially rear eggs. Like when I was doing angel fish, I was using methylene blue to help stave off the fungus from the eggs. Now methylene blue, uh, you wanna dose it according to the bottle directions. There's, there may be different strengths, there may be different directions. So I can't tell you exactly what to do. This is Cordon brand, and uh, this is 10 drops per, or one teaspoon per 10 gallons. So I don't know what your brand is gonna be, that's this brand. So just treat as per the package directions. Now just be warned, this may affect your filter, your biological uh, filtration. So just, just keep that in mind when you're, you know, when you use it. All right. So just to recap, you have common RS. You treat it quickly. You grab two and a half tablespoons per gallon of salt, aquarium safe salt, kosher salt, aquarium salt, whatever. Then you dose methylene blue according to the package directions and you lower your tank temperature 70, 72 degrees. Then you observe seven to 10 days. In most cases, if the fish have survived that long, they will be healed and that tank will be done with common R's. Anything you've used in that tank that hasn't been treated, you're gonna wanna bleach the bejesus out of. That's what I do. I bleach hot water and let air dry for days to make sure I kill it all. Uh, and I use hot water, like as hot as my water will come out of that tap, that's what I use to clean stuff. That should eradicate it. If by some means it doesn't after 10 days retreat at half the dosage so if you have a 20 gallon tank you're going to use instead of three a little more than three cups you're going to use one and a half cups of salt and half the dosage of what the bottle says for methylene blue if that doesn't cure it and your fish are not dead they're super fish so one or the other will probably happen they will either have died or they will be cured uh, in most cases, in my situation, the first dose has worked all of the time. Um, now, I have lost some fish, and of course, I have the auto water change system that I have to shut off to make sure the salt and the methylene blue um, stay in the water. So after that seven to 10 days, I really gotta look at my beneficial bacteria, look at the tank, see what's going on, maybe even test some water, and I may have to add a, a seeded sponge filter from another tank you may want to do the same if you have that ability. That kind of does it for common RS. I'm just gonna check my notes. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, common RS is very contagious and very deadly, so please, please, please be careful with it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you know, email me through my website, michaelsfishroom.com and I will do my best to answer. Also, you can go to my Facebook group, Michael's Fish Room, and tag me and Phil, uh, Philip Hamby, and one of us will answer, probably him, because he's really smart, I'm just good looking. Have a great day, everyone. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back. See, it's gotta pay the bills up in here, so we gotta, Gotta, gotta fix that a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I just stopped the camera running because I'm an idiot. I don't, I don't need that. <coughs> Fine. <sighs> this was tested in Michael's fish room as well as the gentleman that it came from, Philip Hamby, who uh, happens to be a mod in a few of the guppy, guppy uh, social media, yeah. I don't know what he is. <laughs>